<laughs> well, you want to go off with the pipes. Just try first. It's good. That's got some skin on it. Yeah, this is. This is. Got skin on it. This is. Uh, what? Well, it's alright. This is uh, yellow. This is green yellow. Green yellow is alright. Not very soft. Good, eh? Yeah, vitamin C in the green ring. Oh, that last bit was a bit sour. Bit of hard bit. Just one lamb. The seed? Yeah, the seed is good. <laughs> Be careful. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's sweet, that is. Ah, it is, it? and I'm the only one to eat here. Well, to eat, we've been eating. Oh, you know, we stop if you want. This is halfway, is it, between Dianchen and Svanaket? I think so. These yellow trees, Nini calls them, are Lao Secura trees because they fly, flower at the same time as the secure trees in Japan. Makes sense, doesn't it? Now these roads are a good example of why we don't like traveling on the road of Laos at night. This is one of the main roads from the north of Laos to the south. One of the main arterial roads. And there's just no lines, there's no lights you know, and nothing on the side of the road to tell you that a bend or a curve is coming up a corner. So you just, it's very hard to see the side of the road and to follow the road at night. And just the wildlife that can just walk out on, onto the road. So it's, if you're in a car or on a bike, it is the safest, it is the best bet to get off the road after sundown. Now there's lots of trucks and lots of big buses flying along these roads at night also. Now, they're usually big enough to handle anything that wanders out onto the road, but if you're on a bike or in a car, plus, you know, the, some of the nights that we have been on the road, you'll be driving along, then all of a sudden there'll be a motorbike in front of you. It's got no headlights or anything on. It just appears there. Now, I'm not saying don't drive at night, but it's pretty dangerous. You know, just to be on the safe side, we try to avoid it. Uh, so that's when the sun starts going down, you often hear us say we're going to have to find a hotel quick smart. It's, it's just pointless. You, you don't make much ground overnight for how careful you've got to be and just the risk that you're taking. Uh, it's a good excuse to find a hotel and um, stop and grab something to eat and be allowed. Just down to the right there, that's where we stay. We'll go to the market and see what we find at eat. Here's the Mong Market. The Mong Market? What's the name of this place? Tong Nami. Tong Nami Market. That's it, I asked you heaps of times before, didn't I? Okay, Tong Nami. Fuck many times. Tong Nami Market. What is it? Tong. <laughs> just say, just say. Tong Nami. I thought it best that we stop. Should start to get a little bit on the hangry side. Hungry, angry. Never had this fruit before. Before this trip, tried it a few times. Gotta show them what it's like. Yeah. 
that's what we're after, that's rain on the inside. Yeah, that is absolutely delicious. Moogly. Juicy. Mankut. Mankut. This old Guatemalan guy. Face like an old shirt. And he walked across the room. And there in the corner, I hadn't seen it before, was this jukebox. And he put in a coin. And he pressed three buttons. Walking down the 